down to the left to the right all right guys so here we are with the tello drone from dji and this uh, is a pretty cool quadcopter obviously this is a beginner drone under a hundred dollars and this does have a lot of cool features guys i'm going to show you that in a little bit <laughs> As far as the specifications, what we're looking at is a 13 minute flight time. It does have a 720p camera in the front. Of course, this is a stabilized image and you will see that once we get into the flight test, guys. It does have precise hovering. So it does have two sensors down at the bottom that actually detects the ground and keeps it hovering at a nice level. It does have cool flight modes. It does do uh, flips, uh, a couple of other cool things we're gonna demonstrate. The camera is a five megapixel camera, easy operation, electronic image stabilization we talked about. And it is programmable with Tello SDK. Now, now this is a, a Wi-Fi drone, so you operate it directly from your phone, guys, but you do have an optional controller that you can buy, and this is just a Bluetooth controller that connects to your phone and allows you to control it, and we're gonna unbox that as well. So you can buy the controller that we just went over. There is an available battery hub, so it allows you to charge multiple batteries. Just keeping it real, with 13 minutes, time's gonna fly by pretty fast, so um, probably a good option to invest in. You do have different colors that's available for the backing plate. Uh, so you do have blue, yellow, and of course the one that we got is the white today. So let's go ahead and um, take it out of the box. So this is probably one of the easiest unboxings I've done in a while. Now before we take a look at the drone, let's see what else is in the box. Now, will miss it if you don't know that below is a compartment and let me just empty everything out of here so you do get the battery and if you take a close look at the battery you can see some of the specifications so it is an 1100 milliamp hour battery at 4.18 watts and that pops into the drone like so we have a tello booklet right here it's pretty thick gives you all the instructions look like it does come in multiple languages another little package here let's see Ugh. Ugh, this one maybe I'm not doing it right so extra set of props guys and you do have a handy prop tool to uh, I guess remove the props if you guys break one on one or install it so the drone is pretty compact guys it is made of plastic obviously feels well built even for something this size so you do come four propeller guards um these are removable so if you look right here you can just pop it off so if you guys are doing outdoor flying if you want to take it off uh, completely understand four brush motors right here of course the white covering right here and like i said this part actually pops off if you guys want to change the colors do have you 720p camera in the front and look like it has an led indicator right there on the front as well so it looks like you have three sensors underneath i'm guessing there's just sensors for the hand landing function as well as uh as well as keeping that hover at the right distance on the side you have your micro usb and this is for your charging uh, one thing to keep in mind is that this drone does not um, have an sd slot so all the recording all the footage uh, will be on your phone do have the on button right here and of course everything will be done from the tello app so let's go ahead and download it and check out the settings so install the tello app connect to the uh, network uh, label tello and launch the tello app again and uh, pretty easy to set up gives you a nice little beginner's guide what each controller will do the different settings in the top so you have your battery wi-fi bluetooth speed height all right, your settings, flight modes, takeoff and land. You also have your playback. Switch between photo and video. Take pictures. Start recording. Uh, tap to fly. Different menus. So you can see here are the flight modes, guys. So throw and go. So throw and go. Basically, you throw the drone in the air and it takes off. You do have the flip. So when it's in flip mode, you swipe up, swipe left, swipe right. Does the flip. Uh, it does have up and away, which basically goes up and away from you. You also have the 360 tells you how to install the propellers you can see here I am here's my hand let's take a look at the Wi-Fi lag see how bad it is so that's pretty fast so you can see it is flashing red on the controller it is giving me a low battery warning so I'm gonna go ahead and charge it up then I'm gonna fly around the house and take it outside see how it handles now the controller is a game here at T1 and this is just a Bluetooth controller like I said if you guys already have a Bluetooth controller there's a good chance that it will work but pretty basic packaging 
Do we have some manuals or a QC sticker there? Nothing crazy. So, feels pretty good. Responsive, it is affordable. Basic buttons, you have your D-pad here. L1, L2. On the back, you do have your power button. You do have a charging port. You have your menu, pair, C1, C2. Of course, your X is Y. And this part actually flips up like so. Then you can go in and put your phone in this part, guys. So this part flips down. Like this. This part pulls up. So let's see if it fits my iPhone XS Max. Oh, barely fits. So big enough to fit the XX Max, but not sure if it's going to fit anything um, besides that. And keep in mind that this does have a case. So it does have different positions, guys. So that way and that way. So depend on which angle you use it. So depending on which angle you want to use this guy, that option is available for you. So here's the drone fully charged. I'm going to do an indoor flight. Then hopefully we have enough battery to take it outdoor and, and see how it handles the wind outside. So the so first thing I'm going to do is power it on. All right. So we'll go into pairing mode where we'll start flashing different colors. So if you look at the drone right now, it is um, flashing um, orange. All right. So it is ready to pair. And uh, what I'm going to do now is go to my Wi-Fi settings on my phone. I'm going to make sure I go to the Tello. All right, it is connected. I'm going to go ahead and launch the Tello app. Uh, sometimes the app takes a couple tries. I'm not sure why if I'm not waiting long enough, but let's see what happens this time. So Tello. So we are connected. You can see not too much of a delay. There's wifey's liquor. There's mine over there. I don't share my liquor with anyone. So right now you can see that I do have the controls on here. Um, that's because the controller isn't paired as of yet. So let me go ahead and power it on. All right, it will start flashing blue, as you can see right there. So it is in pairing mode. And to connect to the controller from the application, you're gonna need to go to your settings. You're gonna go to Bluetooth, and there's a controller right there. So let's go ahead and connect. And now we should be good to go, guys. So here's the takeoff of the Tello drone. And the takeoff. And there it goes. Let's back it up a little bit. All right, let's move forward a little bit. So everything works, guys. You can see this panning right there. Backwards, forward. So one thing I noticed is this drone is really stable, guys. Quick walk around, it is not moving. Now the sensors are really good, so if I go underneath, you can see it recognizes something's underneath. If I push it, you see it comes back in place. Very steady drone. All right, so let's try some of the smart functions. So we're gonna go to flight. First thing we're gonna try, we're gonna try to do a 3D flip. And all this should do is swipe and it should do the flip. So let's swipe up. There we go. <laughs> let's swipe down to the left, to the right. And we'll try that again. Swipe to the left, to the right, and backwards. <laughs> wow, it does backwards too. So it's a really smooth flyer, guys. Look at that. All right, let's exit the flip mode. We do have the hand landing, so let's go ahead and try that. So we're gonna hit hand, I'm gonna click yes. Awesome. So let's try the throw and go takeoff. And the propellers are going a little bit. And there we go. 
So another mode that it has is the bounce. Not sure what that does or the point of it, but let's see it. That one's pretty pointless, <laughs> I think. So let's stop it. Um, we're going to go ahead and take it outside and see how it handles the winds. And we're going to try a couple of these other flight modes. Whoops. Here's my kitchen. This thing is really smooth. So uh, let's open it up. Gonna fly it outside. All right, so looks pretty good. It's handling the wind real good, I think. Let's try the full pan. And let's switch it to fast mode since we're outside. Let's take it up a little bit. Looks like we're frozen on the screen. You can see it's fighting, fighting some wind actually. So it is good enough to actually stay steady, but it does fight the wind a little bit. Ready to do the 3D flips. Let's do a 360. All right, recording a short video while spinning 360 in place. So look like it just turns around. Can't control it during. So let's stop the 360. Let's see what else we got. Do we have the circle? All right, so record a short video while flying in a circle when using the circle. So flying in an open area. So we're gonna take it away a little bit. Just a little bit. And take it up a little bit higher. And let's go ahead and start the circle. All right, so it is doing its thing, which isn't bad. You can see it's bouncing a little bit up and down, I'm not sure why. And look like it just completed its 360. We're gonna stop that. And let's see what else we got before the battery actually goes out on us. Last one we had was the throw and go. We did that one up and away. Record a short video while flying upward and backward. Let's go ahead and do it, see what it does. Start. So it starts flying and it goes up high and it goes away from you. It looks like that's the gist of it. And it looked like it actually stopped. So it didn't go too far, but it did stop. All right, I think that's about it. We covered everything. Let's put it back in fast. You can see it has more attitude when you do that. You guys can see the tilt on it. It's more aggressive and fast. This is a nice little drone, guys. I do like it. Let's take it up a little higher. And we'll not go too far because it will crash land. <laughs> so our height is about 40. Whoa, it's gone. Where is it going? <laughs> Let's take it back. <laughs> See if we can take it down. This is where flying your skills come in the hand because I almost lost it. <laughs> Not sure where it was going. 
Look like we're back in place, at least. But this is a cool looking drone, guys. Very impressed with it. Very steady. But the wind will take it away, as you can see right there. So you have to know what you're doing. This is an aggressive mode. You can see it does have some attitude to it. And we're gonna put it back in the slow mode. And we'll fly around a little bit while the battery. Up, oh, look like it's trying to land, and it is. This is a Tello drone. Let me know what you think of this. Hit the subscribe button and definitely share this video if you think someone would like this. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.